All right, boys. I hope you can hear me. If not, I'm gonna have to do it over. Oh, is it week three in the books? Um, I'm gonna try to keep this video short. I uh, was busy all weekend, so I didn't have a chance to record, and I just got off like an eight to nine hour work day, so I'm gonna try to keep it short. But uh, looking at some of the matchups from last week, it looked like they had some pretty good games. Let me start right into it. I think the first series is Wasted Ethnic versus Mittenses. All right, I think I said this series would be 1-1 between the two teams. Um, I did see the end score, so I was wrong, but I'm not going to spoil it until we see the other games. So, bands, these are, my guess, would be targeted. I think Underwood's really good right now, but Terrorblade is probably a Wasted Ethnic Classic. Um, Axe is definitely targeted on the Great Cornholio, and then Jug must have been, oh, Mr. Fahrenheit must have been playing it a lot recently. Um, fast forward to the end of these picks. So they did first pick Shadow Shaman. I like him. If you're going to pick your five and it's going to be known five, I don't mind getting it first. Shadow Shaman has a lot of lockdown. He's got push. Um, he can pair with a lot of good heroes in lane. They counter with the Tidehunter, which I think is pretty good. Um, he can crack and shell off of the, um, the Shadow Shaman E, whatever it's called, the long stun that you channel. Then they go Slardar to uh, just more physical damage. I like that pick again. I think uh, their jets are pretty open. Slardar can be played in a couple different positions. Um, you got your five position, you got tower push, you got physical damage. I, I like it. Uh, that was a snap lifestealer ban. And they went Skywrath Mage for more magic damage. So they have team fight and pick off so far. Not very good at taking towers, but you can cut waves with Tidehunter. So. So far, I like both drafts. They both seem pretty open. Um, Tidehunter, I think, is a three. Skywrath can be a mid or um, a support. So they banned Willow PL Troll. I think that's relatively either targeted or PL would have been good, I think, for them. I don't think they have much against PL. In the first two, they go Lifestealer. Bloodseeker Medusa. I think these two I saw Mr. Fahrenheit play Medusa. I, w I don't know if they play, but I, I'm sure they do. And they picked Jakiro. Uh, I, Fiery Man just did a video. Jakiro is the most picked hero in like the past three seasons. Um, so Jakiro is really good. I think that makes this either a four mid, won't be five, obviously. I think that's locked in as your off lane now. I guess it doesn't have to be, but that would be my guess. I, I don't think a support to is good anyway. They go Tusk. I really like that. I think this lane is going to be really good. You can get on top of someone. You snowball into stun and then tag team. Um, like, Jakiro will just die. Um, it is two melee against Jakiro, but I think it's fine. Honestly, I think Tusk is good against Tidehunter as well. They go Spectre. So... I think Spectre is just a pub stomp hero for a reason. Like, you can just farm all game and then you can haunt in anytime there's a team fight. So, he can be farming one side of the map, one lane, you think you're safe. Tide blinks in and ravages, and all of a sudden Spectre's there. You can kill the whole team. I like that. And then they went anti mage. So, they. S it's a lot of melee, and then he kind of has melee range. A lot of melee heroes, so they want to brawl. And. I, I don't think that's bad against Skywrath Mage because you want to get on top of Skywrath Mage. Um, Spectre, I think, is going to tear you up because of the... whatever the return skill is on Spectre. I don't know. I don't play carry, guys. Sue me. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I think Spectre's are even better pick now. I assume they picked that probably because A, they're running out of time, and B, I think it's good against Skywrath Mage. If Skyrath Maze blows his load and then AM ultis in the middle of their whole team, I think that's going to be really effective. They banned Dragon Knight and Sniper, so they recognize that their push is not great. They do have a Jakiro who can help with the push, but it's still not good. And they banned Wind Ranger Doom. Um, yes, I think Wind Ranger would have been good. I don't know if Doom would have been that good, but I don't think it would have been bad. And they go Viper. So the break for uh, Tidehunter and Spectre, actually. And that would solve a lot of the issues I was talking about with um, melee. I, I don't think it's bad. I think you can really for you can just you have to go pick offs. 
you have to play pickoffs while AM farms. That's the only way you win with this lineup, I think. Um, and this one, you can literally just group up and fight and have Spectre Haunted and all of a sudden it's a 4v5. Like, you don't want a team fight with this lineup at all. I don't think you have a good team fight at all. They have great team fights. So it's like, avoid team fight, pick them off, play fast, play early, take towers, and that's how you win. Um, I assume they're picking their mid here. I don't think it's going to be a mid Skywrath, but it could be against a Viper. I don't know if that's good. And they go Pango. So... It's an escape for shards. I don't know how Pango does against... I think it could be a four position Pango, I suppose. But I don't remember their team lineup. I think he's the mid, though. Um... They don't even have. Oh, he changed his name to Mercury. I was like, they don't even have Mr. Fahrenheit. I was so confused. Um, I think I kind of like the Dire lineup better. I just think it's easier to execute. I think you have to just be extremely high tempo and like dominate your lanes as Radiant. I think that's kind of hard to do. So I think I lean towards um, Dire here. Oh, they went off the Viper. So, it looked like Mittenses did do what they wanted to do, or they played like they played like they wanted to do uh, with their draft, or how they needed to do the win, where it was they were just grouped up with these guys, these four. Um, I think it was an off lane Viper, which was, I think, I didn't really watch the lane stage that long, but I thought I saw an off lane Viper. At least in the first blood, but he couldn't go on top. Anyway, um, they grouped up and they fought. They just didn't win their lanes hard enough. So they needed two things to happen to win. They needed to dominate their lanes, group up 4v5 or 4v4, assuming Spectre wasn't there, but Spectre would haunt in and win all those fights and then have enough space where AM's just unkillable because they're so far behind. Um, it didn't happen. It looked like Dire you know played really well in the early game they took a couple of good fights and then they were just too far behind to secure the anti-mage uh the game as the win condition so it's tough um but i i could i could definitely see what they're trying to do with their draft um wasted i think i think played really good i think uh they took some really good team fights they did exactly what i said they needed to do they grouped up s4 uh ravage specter ulti they went team fight um i think uh yeah, I think they played really well. Um, it looked like you just starved them off all game. And, you know, secure the win. It was it was good. I mean, look at this graph. It was just it's tough. I think they just played really well and won. All right, to game at two. Um, I think they're the same sides. I don't remember if they're... Yeah, they are. They're same sides, same picks. Um, so they ban same bands, same bands, except they banned Lifestealer first instead of Jug. They first picked the Shadow Shaman again. I liked it last time, I like it this time. They first picked the Sky Wrath Mage instead of the Tide Hunter. Um, and then they switched. Uh, Mittens has got Tide Hunter, and Waste Death got Sarder. That's so interesting, actually, that um, the two teams just play that play style. So that's interesting. I, I still think it's good. I think you know this is offlane. You know that's five position. This can be four mid. This can be offlane, four position carry. I think Mintz's did... 
I don't remember what the Atlanta stage was last game, but I my point is flex pick, flex pick. This is very stationary. I don't think it's bad because five position and three position, I think that's a good combo to pick for because you don't know who that support will be, so you can't really draft your carry yet. You don't know who the carry is going to be, so you can't really draft the offlane yet, even though they did draft offlane. But, like, my point is I think it was not a bad opening. This is just way more flexible. Um, and then they ban Bloodseeker, Fahrenheit plays... Batrider and Tusk, who Huey Lewis played last game. He played the Tusk. And then they banned the Dark Blue the last game, didn't ban this game, and they picked Dark Blue the second phase. They banned Sven, Monkey, Ursa. So I think Ursa's actually pretty good with Shadow Shaman. Same with Sven to a degree, and Monkey King. I think these are all pretty good with Shadow Shaman. Because these are all heroes that hate being kited around, and Shadow Shaman just holds them in place. You know what I mean? So I don't... Maybe they play really well. I like the Dark Willow pick here. Um, now you can feel safe to pick your carry on the mittens, I think, because you know, I assume this is off lane four position. That's probably five position. Unless that's a five position, I don't know how we set that go. Uh, in which case, I would assume this is their starting, or their three and four. Um, I think Willow's pretty good. If you get Ags, you can just... I think you can do a lot of damage to this Tidehunter. This tanky physical damage, you do a lot of... I think it's magic damage. Maybe it's pure, but I'm pretty sure it's magic. Um, Fear's really good. Anytime it's there's a Ravage and they go on someone, if you're far enough away from the Ravage, you just counter-initiate really well. I like that. Um, yeah, I, I, I think it's a good pick. You can you can Bramble people that get Sardar stunned. Um, they go Clockwork. I think that's going to be a four position. I think that's okay because Clockwork's not a good laner, but Tidehunter is a pretty good laner. And then they pick the PL for Mr. Fahrenheit. I think that's... Hmm. I think it's fine. If you go Skywrath, Slardar in the offlane, you're going to have a tough time. Like this, this is kind of weak, I think. Uh, Shaman... Phantom Lancer. I think Skywrath just bullies Shaman out. I don't think there's much you can do. And then I think Slaughter beats the Phantom Lancer, plus a Skywrath coming in. So they might lose that lane, so you have to win the other two lanes, right? You have to make sure you win mid, and they have last pick, so they might, you know, pull some shenanigans. And then they go Juggernaut. I think it's actually good to pair these two. Brambles, Juggernaut. Um, I think... It's kind of an... I think maybe they have the advantage if not it's even. Uh, so they ban Zeus and Kunkka. Jeez, everyone's picking right away. They go... They ban Zeus, Kunkka. I can't... Saw, I didn't see their picks. But anyway, they go Dragonite and they need a tower pushing on the Shaman. So I like that pick and it's another tank. Um, and they needed... They don't really have anyone to push towers right now other than Jug just runs up and hits towers. So you have to just... Win your lanes. Win your lanes and just group up, I think. They have Pango. Kind of similar play style as this, but you don't have that big team fight. You just have a counter initiation. So what almost what you want is you want them to use their team fight and then you counter initiate and then they don't I think I like Mittens' draft better. You got two forms of strong initiation. You got a bunch of disables. You got a guy to kinda of sit in the back and just put out damage and then some guy to be on top of them i think i like their draft better um they must really like the pango on their mid i don't know the matchup between pango and dk i assume dk is fine i don't think he loses too many matchups to be honest um i'd like them to put willow in the safe lane top and put uh skywrath mage and the um off lane bottom, not sure if that's what they do, but we'll see. I think I like their draft better, but he's got good he's got he's got good cosmetics on Jug. How do you argue it? <laughs> that is my favorite tight hunter set. But yeah, I think this will be a better game. It looks like it won't be as much of a stump. I'm not really sure what their win condition is here. I can see it. Here they have team fight, they have pickoffs, and then they're gonna take your tower with Dragon Knight. Um, this I think it just has to be pickoffs between, you know, these two, 
picking people off. You need Blink Dagger. Dude, these guys all got dope ass cosmetics. Um, and then you have counter initiation. You just have to mess up their team fight and then kill. Who so, like, let's say Clockwork hook shots in. You fear everyone else on their team, kill Clockwork, and then they're fighting 45. Something like that. You have That's how you have to win team fights. Um, I don't know. I still like Radiant Shot better. So this game was a lot closer. Um, it was kind of back and forth. I know it doesn't really look that much, but there's a couple good fights by um, Mittenses there, defending their base, but it, it looked like Wasted Ethic just kind of won early game again, and and uh, actually it kind of looks like Mittenses won early game here. But um, I mean, yeah, it was, it was a pretty close game. Uh, they... Mintz has ended up putting Shaman and Tidehunter in the safe lane against Waste Ethnic, Skywrath, Slardar, which they did what I wanted. They put it like this, and then they put Clockwork PL, which I feel like is a really weak lane. I didn't watch the lane stage for that long, um, but I feel like it was a pretty weak lane. That, that at least seems like I would assume... Well, I mean, if Clockwork gets on top of Widow, and she, he can him. I don't know. I guess it's skill wise, but um, and then and that's the PL went mid. I guess I didn't look. The DK could have gone top PL mid against Pango. That probably would have been fine for PL actually. Hold on, let me see if Dota buffs tells me where they went. No, it was Dragon Knight mid. Okay. Um, yeah, I just feel like. Uh, I feel like Waste Ethic probably won lanes, and then they were able to kind of group up again. I, I think they still had a lot better team fight, which is what I think kept them in the game a little bit near the end. Um, but Waste Ethic, they surprised me. I didn't think they were going to 2-0. I thought it was going to be a 1-1, but they played really well. They 2-0. Um, yeah, it's a really good series, though. All right. Um, this is Harpies versus Snow Cones. I think I said this was the game of the week. Um, I think Harpies are still the team to beat. I think they won one Mittenses last week, and Mittenses just won one Wasted Ethnic. So I think the top four teams, I, I consider Snow Cones in the top four. I, I think uh, it's pretty close up there. I mean, um, I, I think the teams are good. I, I really know how the series will go. I think I said it was going to be a 1-1, so um, we'll see. Right off the bat, I'll get into the bans real quick. They ban Ricky. They ban Doom Clockwork. I think Doom Clockwork are good. I think um, Jankid is the three or Snapped. I always mix them up. I don't remember. I think they play Doom uh, and Clockwork. And these guys first pick the Ogre. This is like a classic Harpies. I know they like Ogre. Um, they ban Ricky Storm Spirit first, which is interesting. It's gotta be targeted. Um, okay, so they ban the or they first pick ogre. They first pick underlord. One of the lords, great win rate right now. 
they second pick the axe and then these guys pick the zeus i think so far this is just straight tanky i think underlord and zeus can be flexible i mean this can be your mid or your four and this can be your three i think underlord's just good right now so far i like snow cones draft better but i know that um i don't know but i'm pretty sure the harpies have a um an axe player um have an axe player um and i know the player so it, it, this is more comfort and then i like this just straight draft value better um as an open it let's see they ban slark arcord and ursa that's fine i know they may play arcord and i think arcord is kind of scary they have a global strat going on right here i kind of like this uh they can literally be anywhere on the map at any time and, and kill you uh they also have good team fight they can hit everyone in the team fight um so it's probably a good thing they went tanky they banned dusa sniper faceless void uh i don't mind those bands they probably more targeted um let's see so okay so snow cones just went they're like what heroes can we play on any part of the map if they don't pick nature's prophet here i'll be shocked um <laughs> but they just went the most global heroes possible and then i don't necessarily know if it's bad i mean this is your safe lane it's kind of weak so i'm just kind of gonna have an, a bad time against marana um axe marana is a classic t hero and then i think their carry who i can't remember who it is it's not give and it's not t i think yeah i can't remember but i know they play life stealer um so after the second picks i just think this is a weak lane i assume i'm gonna assume this is a four position zeus um because they have last pick and but i've been around before um so he's just waiting on mids you're probably gonna get this counter off i don't know it's so far i still this is just this just fits what harpies do they just group up early they take team fights before you're ready and i know granted these guys can be at any point in the map and then take a team fight so it kind of counters that pretty well and then went invoker hmm don't really have great tower push i think it's okay between him but yeah i just don't I think this just fits their playstyle a lot better. And they go Necrophos for Tar. Okay. I don't mind it. I just think... I just think... Axe, Marana, you can just kill this AA over and over. And then the Spectre's gonna have a tough time. I think if you play that right... Um... I think you're going to be able to bully the ogre out so the life might have a tough time. So I think the offlaners should have a better time in lane. I have no idea who wins this matchup um, between Necro and Invoker, but I don't even know whose draft I like better. They can just literally be at anywhere at any point in the map, but they just, this fits their playstyle really well. I guess assuming that the Spectre can get farmed, I like their lineup better. If they can make it to late game, I like their lineup better, but I don't think Harpies will let them. I just think Harpies are like a classic group up. You don't get to go to late game, you don't get to farm team. So I don't really know if I picked a, a lineup I like better, but I, I see you just make the late game, you win here, and you group up and you fight, and you win the fights. The trick is you have to win the fights. They have a pretty good team fight, so you have to win these fights. And you can do it. Uh, early blink and fest bomb. You can do it with, with Sunstrike. But there we go. Damn, they just blew him up. 100 to 0, just like that.
guess Sequoia wasn't casting in client. Could have killed the last the other day too. That was actually not a bad combo between them. They have no save on the dire team. It was just too farmed. It's probably GG. Um, mainly looked like Harpy's grouped up early. Lemon Snow Cones are able to defend them off a little bit because they just have global team fight at anywhere on the map. Um, but eventually, I think Harpy's just kind of starved them out. It's they had like a greedy lineup on the Snow Cones. I think. Um, they all really needed farm, but not as much as the Spectre, and I think the Harpies just kind of started them out, played well. Good game was called. Alright, game two. Um, Harpies won game one. It was a pretty good game. I just, I think I just talk about it in this. Oh, Sequoia's in this now. Too bad I can't mute him. Oh well. So, the bands Storm, Arc Gordon, and then Harpies band the same teams. And then they first pick an axe for, um... I don't know who plays it. And then they go Crystal Maiden. I have not seen that pick Crystal Maiden yet. I don't think I have seen Snow Cones pick. Actually, and then they go back to the Zeus. I like that. This gank potential is really good. The burst potential, really. Um, you blink with Axe and then you ulti with Zeus or whatever. CM is definitely food for these guys. And then they go Centaur. Hmm, okay, so... I don't mind the Centaur. I, you're assuming it's a four position Zeus because that's what they paid last game. So actually you're assuming this is their This is their offlane If I were them, I just would pick the carry here Because they're not gonna counter in the off. I guess they could technically put Zeus mid though So they go with the centaur Hmm. I don't know if I hate the centaur pick. I know they play it pretty well. I just don't think it's you probably could have waited to pick it, I think, is my thing. Um, but no, it's still a good pick. I think Centaur is like a good hero. With CM. Helps CM get into position before she gets a blink. I know they like to group up, so these two already have early team fight. It fits their gameplay. Um, they ban Lifesteal, Jug, Ursa. Uh, targeting the carries here. Um, I think Lifesteal is a good ban against Zeus. Um, and they banned Deuce of Void Sniper, the same as last game. Same exact bans as last game. So they came into the series knowing what they wanted to do. I respect it. They did more research than I normally do. Good thing they banned the Life Stealer because I think they just snap picked the Life Stealer there once they get Spirit Breaker. Uh, I know T likes to play Spirit Breaker a lot. Um, or not a lot. I just know he likes to play him. I think he's a good, good gank in four. Good aggressive. I think this lane right here has good kill potential, but if you play it right, you should be able to harass them out or, or punish them if they get too greedy. I don't think it's a bad lane. I think Centaur is a really good laner, so I don't think it's that bad. Um, you just can't harass with Spirit Breaker, so you're not going to dominate the lane, I think. And if they play it right, they should be good. And they go Lion Monkey Cane, I assume, I would say they win that lane. And then CM, I think... Ember could be played as a carry or a mid. I want to say he p was played as a mid against us. Um, so it could go either way. You don't really know yet. I think they still just eat the CM. Um, and then they banned Ricky, Spectre. They banned Viper. Oh, my God. And Clinks. Uh, I don't mind these bans. I think Clinks would just... 
eat this CM all game. I don't mind it at all. Spectre, I think, would be really greedy for them. I don't know if I would have liked the Spectre pick. I think you need someone that can kind of group up early, um, either mid or carry. I don't think you want someone to sit back and farm, and I don't think it fits their play style anyway. So I think you want to go something like... Um, Weaver's not bad. I would have said Life Steal, but I was banned. Um, I think this would have been pretty good. Monkey King would have been pretty good. And they go Queen of Pain. I think you can dodge it with Amber Spirit. Man, I need to mute the... I may need to mute the casters during these, because they just... We talk over each other. Um, I don't know. I, need, I think you need an aggressive carry here. And they go Drow Ranger. I guess, alright, so that, that feels the push-in need. And then you just play aggressive on Ember Spirit. You just don't farm. I think it's fine. I think I would have liked something that just brawls and snowballs. Um, but. Uh, so, which draft are I like? better i think this fits their what harpies do they group up early and push and then i think the gate the pickoff potential here though is so good then again i think they win late oh they definitely win late i think you just have to play mad aggressive on these guys and pick off which is hard to do because harpies like to group up early um so it kind of is against their play style, but I think if you can pull it off, I like this draft better. So if, it, if there are two equal teams and I don't know anything on the teams, I think I like this draft better. However, if the game goes past 30, 40 minutes, I definitely like this draft better. This Ember Spear is going to go wild. Um, they need to kill this Drow early and often. I don't know. This is going to be a good game. I don't really know who to, who to pick here. Yeah, this is just this slow between these two. Like, Zeus is tough to get away. Janket went deep. This game was so back and forth. Look at this. Look at this. Alrighty. Team wipe, team wipe. Both teams wiped. Both teams wiped. Both teams wiped. And then Harpies just get out of that. But it was like every every time Radiant gets a kill, Dad gets a kill, and vice versa. It's not. It, this game was so evenly matched until this one fight at the Roche Pit. I mean, it's. That's, this was a good game. I definitely recommend watching this game. Um, I think you can learn a lot from for both teams here. From an outside perspective, looking in and watching these two teams, you can learn a lot from both of them. Um, but yeah, really good series. It was a 2-0 for Harpies, but Lemon Snow Cone still played good, and my mind is still a top-4 team in the league. Um, just because they lost 2-0, it doesn't mean that they got stomped, right? Usually you see a 2-0, and you're like, oh, that team stomped, but no. These are two hard-fought games, so... Kudos both teams. All right, Instigators versus 
Phenom, Phenom, I don't know. I just say Phenom. I'll probably say Phenom all video. Phenom S. Um, let's see. They ban Quap, Pango. I think uh, Quap, I think, just might be a meta ban. And Pango, we have Eric play a lot. I ban Jakiro. Uh, Wind Ranger, I don't remember why I ban Jakiro. I don't think I did any research. And someone told me to ban Jakiro. And I know RO914 plays a lot of Wind Ranger. Um, and then... They first pick Enchantress. Uh, I don't know if Enchantress is that good right now. Um, I feel like by picking Wish Doctor here, we it had to have been a support Enchantress because you can't... I think Wish Doctor just crushes Enchantress in lane. Uh, their five position, Common Oddity, also plays a lot of Wish Doctor, so it's also kind of a block pick. Then they pick Silencer, which is good against Wish Doctor. Um, and then we pick Mars. So... This could be our five and our three. This could be a four and a three. It looks. I would assume this is their two supports. I did assume this can be a mid. This can be an off lane. But I don't know if you would pick your mid and off lane first. I just assume they were supports and banned accordingly. Um, they banned AM Troll and I don't remember. And Sven. That's right. We banned Slardar, Faceless Ward, and PL. Um, picked oracle i really like oracle right now i think it's one of the best heroes in the game they picked juggernaut i think everyone always picks jug against us i don't know what we do to make people pick jug but like every game we play we're playing against a jug so they picked jug um and then we picked weaver i really like weaver especially against jug um i don't really love him against silencer but i think it's okay um and they picked an Earthshaker, so I'm assuming this is a 3-4 er, um, Earthshaker Silencer duo, and I'm assuming this is a 1-5 um, Juggernaut Enchantress. I think the slow and dispense pretty good. Uh, I think by our lineup you can tell that this is our this is our um, three and four, which I think gave them um, confidence to pick their Jug. And then this is our one and five. Um, I think this lane should be fine. I think Silencer can bully, but I think um, Oracle's not bad at in lane eight either. I think I think so far I think our lanes are slightly better. I don't think Earthshaker does too much. I think their carry lane, their safe lane has some kill potential, but so does ours with Weaver and Oracle. You can just channel the thing on Weaver and then. Weaver can go in and, and stun them and then kill them. Um, we banned Morphling Zeus. I think they have a Morphling player and a Zeus player. Um, I think Zeus is good against Weaver and it's it's good against getting on the back lines of kill stealing. Um, I can't remember what they banned. Sorry, they picked they last pick the line. Oh, that's right. So this is a mid Earth Shaker and a three position Silencer. But you saw that's my thinking the whole time too. Was that this was a three and a four? This is a two, three, five, four, one. Actually, I can't remember who I land against. But we picked Kunkka after the line pick. Um, I think Kunkka, I kind of assumed it was an Earthshaker mid or a Silencer mid. And I thought Kunkka did okay against both of them. Um, and. I like the team fight and the wave push it does. I think we needed more wave push because we didn't have a lot, so I like that from Kunkka. Um, I don't know whose draft I like better. I think what's the win condition here? You take team fights, but no, their win condition is you take team fights, you blink echo, once the stuns come off cooldown, you silence, and then you just wipe them. Um, hold on, I'm not done. And then our win condition is... Oh my god, whatever. Uh, our win condition is you... We play around Mars ulti, which is a pretty low cooldown, so we have lower cooldown. So we take team fights once their ultis are off cooldown, if we can survive the team fights. Um, yeah, that's, that's our game plan. That's how we win. Group up early before they can do a lot of damage. Um, yeah, I think that's how we win. You know, win, win lanes, group up early, and then um, starve them out. I think that's the same thing they did. 
They may have had a little bit better level one, uh, but we got the job done. Oops. <laughs> he missed his. He missed his thing. <laughs> Oh, that W from Oracle. I cast all my spells, bro. Go ahead and kill me. Actually, I'm pretty sure we lose this team fight. Yeah, so that's how they win these team fights. Echo into silence, and then it's like, what are you gonna do? Not a bad ulti from Witch Doctor. We should have left. I don't know why we're still here. Oh, terrible ulti by Oracle, man. Good thing's on the. G oh, it's, I don't have the talent yet. Bad ulti. You hate to see that. He was Weaver up the full, but. Good disarm. Oh. Ooh, that was a good play. Oh no. <laughs> Couldn't get off the key. Oh, the Echo Slam. Didn't silence or ulti though. They just let the jug out. Why doesn't he... Dang. It's unfortunate. Unfortunate pro play Oracle. Feels bad, man. Perfect, of course. <laughs> Why do they put the trees? Big echo. It's a close team fight there. Look at how low everyone was. Next one, I came back on. This game was really um, grueling. We uh, grouped up early and then we kind of like took all the outer towers and tried to starve them off. Um, I think Phantom S actually had pretty good vision. Uh, I couldn't find a lot of their wards, so kudos on them for warding. I'll have to go back and watch it to see where their wards were. Um, there kind of was a little back and forth. Um, the graphs were kind of strong towards the instigators. Um, but as you saw, the they took a couple of really good team fights. I think if we didn't get the um, the ancient right there, they could have. I don't know the buyback situation. I know Oracle didn't have it because I was Oracle. Um, but if we didn't get ancient right there, we they could probably could have won just off that push. So it was a pretty close game. Um, I liked it. It was a lot of fun. These are a great group of guys. Um, yeah. All right, game two. So that game one was excruciatingly long. Um, I think both teams were pretty tired after that. We had a quick five minute break and then got right back into it. It was an over an hour long, but it also, we had a bunch of pauses um, throughout. So they banned the same thing. Um, and then we banned the Wind Ranger and Wish Doctor, who are their supports most played. I figured they picked supports first anyway. I just wanted to put them on something they were less comfortable with. Um, we go Jakiro, most picked hero in 812, could be a 5, could be a 4, I suppose. They go Wyvern, I actually kind of like Wyvern. Uh, I don't know how good she is right now, but I think she's pretty good. Necro, um, you can ulti someone in the Wyvern heal. You also don't do a lot of damage during Wyvern ulti. Um, 
yeah, I don't, I don't hate the pick there. I think it's pretty good from the information we had. Um, it goes Chaos Knight. This is also extremely flexible, right? You can basically put your Kiro in top lane or bot lane, and then Necro can be mid or off lane. They go Chaos Knight, Wyvern. Um, I would assume Chaos Knight's either a carry or an off lane. I believe they ended up putting him mid this game. I think Wyvern's probably a five. They could go four. Or it could be technically a core. I doubt it, though. Ban the Oracle, the Troll. We ban Slardar Phoenix PL. They ban the Zeus. And then they pick Ogre, so they really want to win their lanes. Um, which I think we won our lanes last last game, so I really like this strategy. You just two lane winners, and then Wyvern's pretty good as well. Uh, we went with Dazzle. We were thinking of going Earthshaker, um, and I wish we did. This is right where the draft uh, goes south for us, I think. I think we lost this draft hard. Um, all right, see you, Mike, for sure. Um, I think we lost this draft kind of hard, but I wish we went with Urshaker here. I could have played Jakiro and said I ended up playing the Dazzle, which I don't think is bad, but I don't think... <sighs> I don't know. So at this point, we Chaos Knight could be... I think it's safe lane. I think it's their off lane. I think this is their carry, and I assume they don't have their mid yet. Um, we end up going Luna here um, after a lot of talk. I really don't mind the pick now. Um, if it was a carry, I just don't know what our win condition is right now. Like, we push out waves really fast. They're gonna win lane, I think. Actually, we kind of well, looking back at it, I don't really hate our draft. I think I hated our draft during the game, but looking back, I don't think it's that bad. Um, their draft is really flexible. And the fact that I know he ends up going mid, and I think he's not, I assume that's carry, but also could be mid. So we don't, we're just not been in their off lane here. Um, and I think they end up going off lane Sven, if I remember correctly. I think their draft is so greedy. I don't really know what their initiation is. Oh, here's, here's why I didn't like our draft. If you look at this, what's our, what's our initiation? The only thing we have is a Faceless Void Chrono. And so we can kill everyone in the Chrono, but everything relies on that Chrono, and then we can only fight once every three minutes. Otherwise, we have to be split pushing, killing waves really quick, which our draft does do well, but they're not a bad pickoff team. They have okay team fight. I think Wyvern's really good against Void, which is our team fight win condition, and Wyvern, I, assume, I think, counters it. They're going off lane Sven, carry Drow, mid Chaos Knight, which I think is just way too greedy, but um, they do end up winning this game. I just. The more I talked about it, the more I liked our draft. But going in, I didn't really like it. I think. I don't know, really know if you win lane with. Oh, it ends up being Wyvern. That's right, 4 3. So the Wyvern harasses. The Wyvern, I think if it was Ogre, the Dazzle of uh, Void would win. I think it, because they go Wyvern, the Wyvern Sven win that lane. And then they go Drow Ogre, which I think is. I think that I think the way they laned this was way better. And I think they end up winning lanes because of it. Um. They end up going Ogre Drow against Necro Jakiro. I think I would have rather we swat we put Jakiro safe lane with the Void to go against the Wyvern Sven and then have the Dazzle be against these two. Um that might have gone better. And then it was a Luna vs. CK mid. That might have gone better. I don't know. But I don't really know whose draft I like better. Our win condition is split push. Push out lanes until you have Chrono up and then win a team fight. Their win condition is counter initiate the team fight and then win your lane so hard that you just snowball. Um, which they did.
Oh, I remember this fight. So this game, I think the roles were reversed and they kind of got off to a good start. It was actually extremely close the first 10, 15 minutes. And then I think they just uh, took off. I think they kind of, they won one or two team fights. Let me see what Dota Bus said. Uh, let's see, they won. Like, it was pretty even until here, that team fight, uh, um, that ended up giving them an advantage. Um, yeah, I mean, it was close into, oh, right here, that, that last team fight that I showed, they just, the game was over at that point. Huh, that's interesting. I did not know that. But yeah, I mean, look, Phantom Menace, they're a good team. It was a very good series. 1-1. Uh, one, one. I thought they were going to... I don't even remember. But, yeah, I mean, they're fun to play against, too. They're a good team. They're... I only think they're not in the top four because of how good the top four is, and I think they're right there. Um, I have to play SOD at some point to have a full rankings in my head, but right now, actually, we can open that up. We can open that up and in the in the stream there. Where is my thing? Is it on? Nope. Hmm. There it is. Um. So let's see. This was correct. Oh, two harpies. This was two. Oh, wasted ethnic. This was one one. So these two I got wrong. Get used to it, guys. I get a lot wrong. Um, I think right now. Do I just move them up? Wasted that thing's now two? I think maybe. I need to play these guys so I know. I think this is still how I rank it Harpies, Ethnic, Mittenses, Snow Cones, Phantom, SOD, and Skaters. We'll see. I think we'll probably end up playing SOD next week, but I don't know. Um, okay, let's do week four predictions. Oh, my Atlanta. Uh, where is AD2L? I am recording this, right? Okay, cool. Archon League, week four. Phenom, oops, where am I typing? Phenom S versus. This is uh, Harpies versus WE, and then Instigators versus SOD. So LSC has a buy. Got it. I think this is. I think it's a two omittances, but I think it's gonna be close. I, I Phantom played snow cones really close. Uh, that two O was should have been a one one because they played so close, not necessarily because they should have won one game, just because I think they played really well. I think the mittenses are a little better than snow cones, so I give them the edge. I think it'll be a two O Harpies, wasted ethnic. I think it's gonna be a one one wasted ethnic, two O mittenses. And Mitten says 1-1 one, one Harpies. I think it's going to be 1-1. One, one. Mitten says and Harpies definitely have a different play style. Um, but this is definitely game of the week to watch. I should probably just... Uh, this I said was game of the week. I'll make it yellow. Uh, this I said was game of the week. It's just the Harpies every week, isn't it? This I said was game of the week. This I'm going to say is game of the week now. I bet this is going to be 1-1. One, one. So, yeah. 
That's the predictions. We'll see the actual outcome. I am now four and five. Negative. You hate to see it. All right, that's it. GG's. Good luck this week, guys. Have fun. Uh, hopefully next time I am a little more organized.